turbo spool in and spool out then. Listen. Hey YouTube, this has been a video that's been requested on my Instagram and I just haven't got around to doing it yet, which is, you know, a tour of my van. Uh, which the channel is going to be mainly fish related, van and family. Um, and I hope, you know, I can do well off that. So first things first, here we go. So basically, uh, we're sitting in the van. How's it going guys? Right, this is a video that's been highly requested now. It's just a tour of my Transit Connect now. Straight away we've got some ST seats. These are off a Focus ST, which going into it, I brought them because they're really comfy. They've had to be modified to fit on the railings and they are electric, but I ain't had them fitted up. I've got this guys is an absolute if if i could recommend anything go and buy yourself one of these but not at the minute obviously due to the isolation and where it's come from this is a chinese double dim now this here i've had about five of them maybe but um, i'm not one of these that not because i've broke i've had five i've sold cars i've left them in the cars i'm not one of these or bother taking them all out because a lot of the times you have to modify them like i have this one to fit in or like i've had done i should say um but the only thing is you've got an auxiliary, you've got the radio, you've got a memory card and you've got a USB, you've got no CDs, but CDs are probably a thing of the past anyway. Um, but if you like me, just keep a few USBs, uh, put your songs on them. I've got a boost gauge. Why I had it put over there, I don't know. My idea was to put the boost, water and probably oil on this. Again, it's had to be modified because... Um, Anything you do to vans have to be modified. And the light switch, I don't know why I had put this over here, but this is to control the top light switch I'll show you in a sec. Um, I've had the windows tinted, the little Ford decals there. Um, my idea at the minute is to put um, a power... I'll, I'll talk about the uh, what I'm going to plan for the rest of the build after, but I've not touched this van for a good probably year literally let me just open up the side door i have crew cabbed it well had it done i should say not have done it myself because they do little things but not you know big things like this we have to uh, as you can see the headrests are in the back uh they have got seat belts in um you have to chop out the floor plan to uh it's still as i said it's not a perfect van there's still bits on here it's not even focusing there's still bits here from where i had it chopped out i've actually got a guard that fits in there um we've got marker lights and a side exit exhaust across the top and over on the front as well as down this side uh we've got some their alloys on they come with the van i'm not sure where they're from there's the top lights and the oldest daughter in the background <laughs> there's the top lights that someone's uh messaged about these lights guys they're off ebay um they are really discolored now they've probably been on my van for about i think i've had the van about two years I've probably been on the van for as long as that everything them are still wired up but everything else needs wired up wiring back up these marker lights definitely um one yellow on the side and a few across the top. We got the um, what's the called now? Wind windshield. We got one of those there. Uh, obviously with the transit sign on. We got transit there. We got chrome wing mirrors. We got a few more lights there. I'm blocking out my red as you can see. Um, these i did have the marker lights across the bottom again they've got to be redone um i still haven't been bothered to order anymore uh, and we've got a lorry air horn we've got a cannon and in there we've uh, blocked the egr valve off with a blanking plate and we've gone straight through exhaust from the turbo which is a side exit exhaust, which is out there. In the back, like you can see, I've got a sub and amp down the back there. So guys, the plan for this uh, build is still not done. 
Um, there's still quite a few things that I want to get done. Um, I want to, the plastic, I want to change to MDF. I want to get a better flooring in there, just to make it look a bit neater. Um, it is a van, and I do use it as a van. Um, my main reason for having a van, I used to have bigger vans, but this is ideal. Um, I buy and sell stuff, and that's, pardon me, that's why I've got a van. Um, so, just to make it a bit neater, I want to do that, that, carpet it. I also want to put the power mitt up on the front, like I said. Um, obviously, it's got wing deflectors. I need to get that redone. I need to rewire the marker lights. This end of it's fine. That end of it's fine. And the connectors at the bottom's fine. But what I did, like an idiot, it's probably still popped a bit. I've had to put new um, pop rivets in here, as you can see. Because, like an idiot, all the connections for the wires for the marker lights apart from the very back ones the rear ones the red ones run up through this arch into there as you can see with the wiring down there when i ripped the wheel arch off i've tampered with that so i've got no live to my air run or um, i've still got live to the um southern amp but that's it also the knn I need to uh, change off because it's, uh, I think it's a heat soak, if that makes any sense. It's been on here for about a year, maybe, but when the engine gets hot, it seems really uh, sluggish. Not seeing what it should be. I've always wanted some, I did find some before on eBay. Um, these pipes here, blue silicone there and then metal back, but I can't seem to find them for the love of me now. I've always wanted to take this into cooler as well, down into the grill. I've always wanted to take the intercooler as well down to the bottom of the grill down there I just think it'll look better whether I can eventually I don't know um, also on the rear of the van yeah that'll do um, I've always wanted a one piece door if you know what them am then you'll know <laughs> and as I've already said I want to preferably tidy that up um and i would like very hard to get though i believe another you know uh side window for the side sliding door and also this here needs to be uh addressed it was like it when i got the van this is an xbt van actually um it come off bt but uh they've obviously had a bit of an accident or something but uh, i need to get a new rear light as well i'd like to get it lowered as well eventually if i can you know it's all time I just want to sit a little bit lower. I think it look good. That's the engine. Sounds mint as well. We're also sitting on 145,000 miles. This van hasn't been set, uh, started since the self-isolation, which has been about three weeks. So let it warm up for five. I will start it. Listen to that purr. You probably can't hear it as good as I can, but it's, it whistles. <laughs> because I've also had the DPF chopped out, the cap uh, took off, so it's straight through. Um, also, since I've had this vehicle, I've had it about two years, as I said, I've had a new uh, gearbox. Um, I've had drive shafts, I've had a brand new clutch, I've had it serviced, um, wheel bearings done. This van uh, literally owes me too much to ever sell it, but as you can see, look at the boost cage, it's on. Rev it a bit and you'll see, I think. Not really. Yeah, it's yeah. Whew. That's what we like to, yeah. But yeah, uh, this is just a workhorse, that's all as it is. Also on that there, family car we shall be doing videos on that because I want to uh, get some cleaning products and do some videos on them look it's not been used that long look look at spiders growing out in here <laughs> peace out guys if you want to see some more content on my van and uh, other stuff please like comment and subscribe thank you very much bye